We're changing child protection in New South Wales. Vulnerable children and young people deserve better. There are over 8,000 more children and young people in care compared to 2006. With changes in legislation and practice, we need people who can support children and families by caring for children while parents get help to change. We need people to be parents for life through guardianship or open adoption and people who are willing to provide short-term care for children. 5.4% of all children and young people in New South Wales are Aboriginal, but they represent 37.3% of those in out-of-home care, and this trend is continuing. Our goal is for children to find permanency with their families, or through guardianship and open adoption. That's why we're introducing the Permanency Support Program from 1 October 2017. It brings together work we were already doing to fund NGOs based on performance and outcomes and efforts within our own agency to ensure everything supports permanency. It will also prepare government and NGO practitioners to deliver needs-based supports through Their Futures Matter, the New South Wales Government's response to the independent review of out-of-home care. The new program consists of four main parts. We're enhancing permanency and early intervention principles in casework. In the new system, a child or young person will have a case plan with a goal for permanency within two years of entering care. We'll seek fewer court orders for parental responsibility that last until a child turns 18. Instead, we'll look at other options for shorter-term orders to support the permanency goal in each case plan. We'll create 50 new permanency coordinator roles across New South Wales to help government and NGO caseworkers plan for and achieve these goals. It will be a more flexible system, with case plans that include different packages based on an individual's needs and not their placement. We're working intensively to support birth parents, families and kin. With the right help, guidance and support services, people can change. We're creating an additional 900 places for children in intensive family preservation and restoration services this year, and half will be for Aboriginal families. Together with the NGO sector, we'll launch a strategy to better recruit, support and retain people who want to be guardians or adopt children, as well as people who want to support children to return home when their parents have achieved change. We also need people for short-term care, emergency care, or just to give other carers and family a break. This means expanding the pool beyond our traditional ideas of family. We're introducing intensive therapeutic care to replace residential care. Many young people in care have had traumatic experiences, so we're keeping a strong focus on recovery from trauma through an intensive therapeutic care system for young people over 12 who've been assessed as requiring intensive therapy. This new approach will reduce the length of time young people spend in intensive out-of-home care services by providing clear pathways to permanency. Our goals are ambitious but realistic if we all work together to give every child and young person a safe, loving and permanent home in which they can thrive. To learn more and find answers to your questions, visit facts.newsouthwales.gov.au forward slash PSP.